Hello everyone and welcome back to Soren Review and today we are going to be giving my reaction and thoughts about NASCAR Wave 2 for Lionel Authentics. It is the second wave of 2022. I decided that originally Soren Review was a diecast channel um, and so it's only fitting that I still keep with the diecast theme and react to Wave 2. Two, because I think it's an interesting wave to react to. So let's get straight into it and start with the first car, Daniel Suarez test car. Now, this is an interesting one because we knew it was going to get released. Um, I actually thought that it was the K1 test car, not the red one, not the, the track house racing car. I like this car. I think it's a nice... I. Uh, car i really looked nice when it was um testing at charlotte my only gripe about it is it doesn't have the chrome leaf um numbers it looks like it's just silver metallic which um annoys me a little because that's not really how the car looked but i think it's a nice nice car next up kyle larson number five test car i had a feeling that this was going to get released um when they announced the other two test cars um i just had a feeling this is a very easy car to replicate it's being made in the 124 scale and uh you know hendrick motorsports very popular team why wouldn't they make it it's an easy easy cash grab in my opinion the next one, though, I think is one that people are really excited about. That's Cole Custer's Stuart Haas Racing Test Car. Uh, I really like the Stuart Haas Racing Cars uh, for the test one cars when they tested these. Um, they used basically the same one. I believe there's a white one as well. Um, I like it because it's unique. It's got those round numbers, um, which remind me of like the Chase Briscoe Ford Performance Cars from the Xfinity series in 2020, I believe. So I like the paint scheme and I think it's um, one of the nicer looking test cars. I just wish the numbers were a bit bigger, but that was how the paint scheme was made. So I'm not really complaining about the die cast itself. I think it's a good choice and uh, a fun one to have. Uh, the next one, Austin Dillon's Bass Pro Shops test car. I like this one because we probably are not getting an Austin Dillon next gen car for 2022 unless the Charlotte 600 um car gets made or we uh his base paint scheme for Bass Pro Shops gets made in Authentics so unless one of those two things happen we're probably not going to get an Austin Dillon so I like this car it basically looks like a regular um paint scheme it's just kind of based off the 2021 paint scheme, but it has like uh, basically the same sponsorship and everything as if it had been a real paint scheme and not a test car. So I'm really happy this gets released, uh, even if it is a little plain. The next one, Chase Elliott, uh, Hendrick Motorsports number nine test car. Again, I'm a bit sad because I knew they were going to release one Hendrick Motorsports test car, but both of them is a little bit disappointing but it kind of reminds me of a thing Lionel would do um again just a simple car I guess to have both of them if you're a Hendrick a fan or if you want more next gen cars um I have a feeling this wave is going to probably be used a lot for um customs use these cars as donors um who knows so I don't I don't know the next one we already knew about, Brad Keselowski's RFK Racing Test Car, this green and black paint scheme. It's a nice paint scheme. I love the, the gray silver numbers, and the green is just really eye-popping, and it's definitely one of the nicer-looking test cars. I, I think it's a nice, uh, cool car, and if you're not a huge Brad Keselowski fan, it kind of looks like a regular paint scheme that would run, so I definitely think... Um, if you have a die cast series, I think this would be a cool paint scheme to use. It doesn't really look like a test car. So, I don't know. It's a nice paint scheme for Brad Kozlowski. Next one, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Hellman's a number 88 car. This is the only, um, this is one of two non-next-gen cars. I think it's okay. Um, I knew this was going to get released. It, uh, his 
uh, Xfinity car that he runs once a year gets released every year in the Authentics. It's a little early, but I knew that this diecast had gotten released really early, so it's a nice car. I'm glad that it's being made in Authentics for those who don't want to spend the $10 to get another Dale Jr. paint scheme. So I think it's a nice car, and uh, glad we don't have just all uh, next gens. You know, I think it's a cool addition. Next one is my favorite car, Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s Kroger Test car, because it has the centered numbers. Uh, Stenhouse and Chris Busher, I believe, were the only two to run non-forward non, um, uh, leaning numbers. They ran in, in the center, and I love it. I think it looks great, because this is what we could have had. I'm not saying that I don't like the numbers um, towards the front uh, wheels, but um, I definitely like it a lot more than if they were in the back towards the rear wheels. But um, why couldn't we have had uh, wheels in the or numbers in the middle? I just I don't understand. Uh, but it's a nice car. I also like on the hood. Uh, you can see the um, I don't know what they're called, but you can see like the hood openings. Um, I really like that because I believe that's the only car in this wave that has it. So I really like it. And not, and I've seen some of the gold series cars and some of them, some of the uh, die casts have it. Some of them don't. So I like that this car has it. It's just a nice paint scheme. Plus we didn't get this Stenhouse paint scheme last year um, in 2021. So I just, I really uh, like that they included this car. The last one we already knew about Kevin Harvick's 2022 gear wrench car. Um, I'm a bit upset that this is the only regular paint scheme that we have. I'm even more upset with that big black space underneath the, uh, underneath the gear wrench because that's where the Bush logo would have went. Um, and it just looks really awkward. Um, so I'm a bit um, upset about that. It's an okay ad. I don't, I'm not sure how to feel about it. It's, um, it's okay. It's a good Add. I, I have a feeling they probably would have wanted to add another test car, but I don't know who they would have had. Probably one of the Kali cars, maybe, or who knows. I, I think it's an okay add uh, to the wave, and I think um, at least we do get one regular paint scheme, so I can't really complain. There's no liquid color in this wave, which I'm a bit upset. My theory is that they don't exactly know how to do liquid colors on the next gens, which doesn't really make sense, but who knows. Um, you know, maybe the employees don't know how to do them yet. Um, but that also doesn't make sense. I wonder why there's not a liquid color because they could have done it for the Dale Jr. Xfinity car. Um, that dark blue would have looked nice on the liquid color. I don't know. Um, but only nine cars in this wave. So no liquid color to look for. Just the all nine cars. Uh, it says two on the description. The qu They give a quick description for each wave. Be on the lookout for this wave at your local Walmart store and other major retailers, which makes me believe that they're mainly going to be at Walmart. So I'm sure they're going to be stocked at Target too, just like Wave 1 was, but I would primarily look at Walmart. I know I found 2022 Wave 1 at, um, it took me two different Walmarts, um, but that's where I found it. I never saw them at Target, but I know other people have. So just keep an eye out and, uh, just keep looking. That's the best way you can find these cars. Um, it's just to keep looking and uh, kind of keep an eye out too. Maybe if you go a different day of the week, um, you can kind of see when what days they stock, your store stock. I know Walmart gets shipments every day, so if that helps you. Um, I know Walmart gets shipments every day, so it could, it's kind of random for Walmart. Targets, it depends. They get it on a certain day, so you just got to keep an eye out. But that's going to do it for this video. Remember, you can use code SORIN72 to get $5 off shipping for orders $30 or more. It's $5 off shipping. That's still pretty good, and a lot of next-gen cars are coming now. You just saw in this video, next-gen cars are here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and goodbye. Make sure to watch the stream later this week on Saturday for the Xfinity series. We are doing a radio broadcast. Make sure to tune in to that. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, everyone.